Hello. So second uh, part of the lesson for tribute, right? So we've just gone to um, this kind of middle bit where the devil's done his thing. The devil? The demon. Uh, and uh, they just said, uh, nay, we are but men. And then they get into the, we covered this last lesson, right? So, so no, we are but men. All right, then it gets into this bit in the middle uh, uh, about this is the great, this is not the greatest song in the world. This is just a tribute, which goes something like this. So there's kind of a little bit of a variation in, in uh, kind of the beats here. Okay, so the first part straightforward. It's just A minor again to a G like this. I do it slow. The second time round. All right, that's the only difference. And then you slick in it and then do it again. That is the um, chord progression right before the little breakdown before it gets to the, the uh, a cappella flugel Google thing. And for that little breakdown there, um, I'm not doing exactly what they do, what they do in the recording, because they've got an acoustic guitar and they've got an electric guitar and the acoustic guitar is doing some kind of more intricate thing. But I'm trying to pick up what I'm hearing because this is for kind of for, for, for me, <laughs> selfishly, for live use when I'm playing this with, uh, with the flailing pits. Um, and I've come up with this, okay? So there's, there's something which is definitely happening, but there's a different way I do it. So let me show you first, and you can pick what you want. So the, the sequence sounds something like this. All right, it does that a few times, right? Before it stops on the A minor. So the sequence is A minor, then an A minor over G, okay? So little finger goes over to the third fret of the E string. Then a D sus2 over F sharp. Okay, so your D sus2 shape here, your thumb is pressing down the F sharp. And then it's going to be an F, something like this. And then a G. Before we go back to the A minor and do it again, right? So let me show you what I do. That that's kind of what's going on. There's definitely this A minor over F sharp, but I don't like it. I don't like I don't I don't know what it is. A weak little finger. I just don't enjoy that chord, right? So here's what I do instead. I do the A minor. And then I do this. My third finger lifts off from the G string and goes onto the third fret of the E. This makes this an A minor seven over G. And when you play this at speed, it actually doesn't sound different at all, right? But it just is easier for me. So D sus two over F sharp, just like before. The F power chord, just like before. Now, what I do here, if you think the next chord's a G, right? You can play like this if you wanted to, or like this. And this is what I do instead, right? So check this out. So I go. Uh... All right. Ooh, what happened there, right? So what happened there? If you think about a G chord like this without your first finger, you've got an open D and an open G string in the middle, right? And if you hear those two, you're kind of hearing a G, right? Because that is a D, that is a G, all right? And the D, funnily enough, is the fifth of a G major scale, the fifth note. That is the fifth interval within a G chord, right? A G chord, a G major chord. So those two notes of their own are actually a five chord. Um, it's the tip. It's the classic power chord, which sounds just like a G. So what you can do is, if you do your A minor, A minor seven over G, D sus two over F sharp, then do your F, and then just hit open strings in the middle of the guitar. Sounds like a G. Even if you hit an extra string here and there, it doesn't matter because if you whack it in the middle, you're going to hear enough of that those two intervals to make it sound like a G chord. And it passes so quickly, you're straight back into an A minor. Much more comfortable to play, and it sounds pretty cool, right? So let me show you. And what are the chords are you?
that's where it stops for the flugel googly bits and the acapella section next bit's going to be the solos which i'll cover in uh, two subsequent videos have fun with that